Greetings, members, one and all of the Salivation Nation. Platinum's day will come. Let's explore. That may sound like a pretty confident statement, but I've witnessed the platinum markets for quite some time. Along with the precious metal markets, platinum has really been undervalued, I feel, for quite some time. In other words, I remember a day when it was regularly above gold price, but it's not been that way for quite a while, and it's a much more rare precious metal. In fact, platinum is about 20, 15 to 20 times more rare than gold, at least the amount of above ground stocks it does take quite a lot of energy to produce it, to take it out of the ground, and to process it and refine it. There's other reasons, too, mainly that there's only a couple of places in the world where any appreciable amount of platinum can be mined. And uh, that's what we're going to talk about in this video today. And I'm referencing an article from Money Week that talks about platinum and why people should be considering maybe buying a bit, stocking up because it's unloved and that is the case with any kind of commodity or investment it's a good strategy to buy when it's unloved and right now platinum is kind of unloved however there are some in the community here that certainly do see the value of platinum and uh, have been buying a bit more of it um, probably understanding a lot of these concepts that I'm going to talk about in this video and in fact there's one channel that's been created that specifically focuses on platinum platinum beast so let's talk about this article we're going to reference it and kind of pick it apart a bit uh, let's see if we can find things that we agree with and things that we disagree with if there's one commodity that has disappointed investors more than any other these past five years it has almost certainly been platinum indeed it has it's really fallen and i've been bullish on platinum for a while and said that it's been undervalued but so far there's nothing to show for that at least not yet uh, i remember buying uh, this platinum eagle at a pretty low price in 2020 when when platinum got way down well below 700 dollars an ounce um, most others have had their moment in the sun even if brief but platinum has been wretched its day will come but the question is when, and that is the question indeed. Timing is really what it's about, and people can get jaded fairly quickly in these, uh, in the, in this, in the markets these days. And by the way, you know the article starts out talking about uh, disappointing investors. The key word being investors, because this is probably the top investment precious metal, other than maybe palladium. Although palladium is very volatile, it is starting to come back down to reality. And I kind of have always thought that palladium was overvalued and platinum undervalued. But we'll talk a little bit about that later. So we tend to think of, for those who, who um, um, they don't even necessarily have to be in precious metals to get this concept, we tend to think of platinum as being more expensive than gold. That's why platinum credit cards are a higher status than gold and why in the world of album certification platinum 1 million units sold ranks higher than gold which is a half a million units and that's right and by the way that's albums records vinyl music sales uh, depends on how many units have sold platinum record historically platinum has been more expensive which makes sense as it is rare typically the platinum price will be 1.25 times that of gold um, and that is the I guess where they got that number I'm not sure but essentially it is more expensive not terribly much more expensive but it's more expensive enough with gold sitting at around well now it's gold is as of the recording of this video is is in the 1780s right now uh, you would expect the platinum price to be trading somewhere around uh, two grand two thousand one hundred dollars or so but it isn't it isn't even trading at half that 
It isn't even trading at a thousand dollars an ounce. Like right now, what is platinum trading at? Nine hundred and fifty bucks an ounce. Crazy to think about it. On its current trajectory, platinum is going to be half the price of gold at some point over the next fortnight. A mere fifteen years ago, it was double the price of gold. Hard to think about that, but it is the case. And for comparison, here is what gold looks like compared to platinum. It shines. It certainly is a beautiful metal. It's not quite as dense, but very, very close. And platinum is the densest of the platinum group metals out there. In fact, of the ones that are traded, um, that are tracked, platinum is the most dense. And the only thing that's denser than platinum is me. My personality and my sense of humor, it's pretty dense. I've got a pretty dense character, but that's another story. So why the disappointing performance? Well, there's three reasons that we can uh, deduce from this, and that is the three main sources of platinum demand around the world are with cars. In other words, the catalytic converters to oxidize carbon monoxide in diesel engines mainly, and we'll talk about that here momentarily, then you have investment. And this is a one metal where I think that's a good word to use because I consider platinum to be a fringe precious metal. And in other words, it is a metal that um, typically operates outside of what precious metals do as hedges against economic instability. But it is still acts in that regard to a point but it has really kind of moved away from that enough because it's mainly an industrial metal, not necessarily a monetary or a hedge. And so that, that's why I consider it an investment. And people also buy platinum for the same reasons they do gold and silver and jewelry. Since the Volkswagen diesel scandal of 2015, when it emerged that diesel engines weren't quite as clean as they were made out to be, demand for diesel cars plummeted. Unfavorable taxation has only amplified this. And meanwhile, many of the investors who in the 2000s might have bought platinum now are buying Bitcoin, a cryptocurrency craze. The speculative anti-inflation trade has moved over to crypto as an investment. So therefore, a metal an actual hard asset like this as an investment strategy doesn't seem all that attractive, especially since it's been a poor performer and people tend to follow the trends. Bitcoin is essentially loved. And so people are buying what is loved right now. It's purely speculation. Although platinum, like gold, is in limited supply and is finite and uh, it has um, intrinsic value. Uh, although the intrinsic value is much harder to define as we only have, well, since the time it was traded publicly and these ETFs and the like and what have you, uh, the value of it, I mean, it's based off of a metal that was only discovered in the late 1700s. Nonetheless, as far as jewelry is concerned, platinum is not as fashionable as it was even a decade ago because it's worth less. Being worth less and with jewelry as being a status symbol, well, people aren't as excited about having platinum rings and the like. But going back to the uh, the idea of you know uh, platinum being used for diesel, it is it is essentially something that could be also used for internal combustion engines for gasoline. But palladium is a much better element to use and catalytic converters for gasoline engines. However, the, uh, it certainly could use platinum as well. But a lot of the retooling has not taken place yet to transfer over to platinum. Um, and um, because palladium is starting to come down in price. But a lot of that could be because of the chip shortage with the autos. And so the, uh, the supply chain issues there are many less cars are being produced because they um, are lacking the chips. So... The supply of platinum is hugely centralized, and this is an important point. Over 70% of annual global supply comes from one region of South Africa. 70%, that's the Bushveld, 
With one central point of failure, the market is extremely vulnerable. Should something significant go wrong there, strikes, power supply failures, some kind of natural disaster or political disruption, the platinum market has big problems, and platinum owners will make out like big bandits. It's probably only a matter of time because some of that region, some of those regions in South Africa are certainly under pressure politically at this point. Now things are tricky. The World Plat- Platinum Investment Council says that platinum mine supply continue to recover gradually from the COVID-19 related operational disruptions and is up by 13% this quarter year on year. For 2021, total mine supply is expected to be up 25% on last year. Recycling is another major source of supply, and that has declined by 9%. But even so, total supply is up by more than 7% this quarter from that recent report. Meanwhile, because of the semiconductor chip shortage, car manufacturing has not grown as much as originally forecast, up only 3% in 2020. And this, too, has hit platinum demand. But tightening in emissions legislation means that platinum loadings and catalytic converters are increasing. With the high price of palladium, uh, some substitution has started to occur with platinum instead of palladium being used in other types of engines. But with the price of palladium coming down a bit, that is uh, going to apply more pressure. Vehicle demand is set to increase next year, which should be good for platinum though the palladium price has fallen dramatically, so we're likely to see less substitution. And here's the other thing, too, why it's unloved right now. Platinum is not in short supply, but it might be if green hydrogen ever takes off, and that is the key. This is why Platinum's day will come. As for investment, demand for bars and coins coins is on the rise, but flows into exchange-traded funds are down. Many are rolling out of ETFs into dividend-paying miners, and many are moving into considerably more racy crypto markets. Coin and bar demand should remain, however. As for jewelry, the Chinese currently prefer gold, and they are big buyers. It's fashion, so it can and will change, but that is the current trend. So for years, platinum was in deficit. Annual demand was greater than supply, and that pushed up prices. Now there is a surplus, and so it is hard to get very excited about this market. But that's not going to last forever. The light at the end of the tunnel for platinum investors is green hydrogen. It would seem to be the best route for decarbonization. Platinum is used in water electrolyzers to produce green energy through green hydrogen and also in hydrogen fuel cells, which can power fuel cell electric vehicles. And by the way, Honda already has one. It's only available via lease right now, but this technology is starting to make its way out, and that is something that is going to be better than just regular EVs because regular EVs do burn carbon. Uh, It's just a transfer of that carbon um, credit or carbon emitting uh, power plants to to charge the, the vehicles. So platinum is key to unlocking hydrogen and thus will be key to meeting global net zero targets. This is well known, however, and currently the market is not all that excited. It could mean green hydrogen is too many years away for the market to care. That is a possibility, but I think with Honda doing their thing, uh, it may be closer than we think. Or the market doesn't believe the politicians on net zero, or quite simply that the market has got it wrong, or a bit of all three. But it all looks like, for now, platinum's doldrums will continue which means that we've got some time. So anybody that tells you, and by the way, anybody that tells you to rush to buy something, um, it, like, such as this article kind of suggests in its title, uh, be very cautious about that. I believe there is time. We could see platinum fall more, and then, and then it might be a good idea to buy a little bit more. Platinum is a lovely metal for sure, uh, but uh, you never know um, where it's going to go. And when I say lovely metal, I just love it for its density and I kind of like its look, too. Uh, it is a little bit duller than silver in terms of brightness, but I still am a big fan of it just for its physical properties, if nothing else. Uh, but nonetheless, it says that uh, 
until they don't, in other words, the doldrums will continue until it doesn't. Something could turn around very quickly based on what we mentioned before. Then it will all look very obvious that everyone should have some platinum in their portfolio. Rather, as we discovered with uranium earlier this year, and that is the key. Uranium just kind of took off. It's been talked about. You've actually heard me cover a uranium uh, mining company um, earlier in the year, and that's when this stuff, stuff has taken off. And uh, it's pretty exciting, pretty amazing. Uh, we see the same thing with platinum, uh, potentially. Could happen. It may happen next year. It may not happen for five years. Over the past year, platinum has ranged in between $850 an ounce and $1,350. <clears throat> now we're currently at $950 and in a downtrend. If you can pick it up below $900, it seems like a pretty good deal and a pretty good long-term investment. Yes, I'm using that word investment with a metal. Platinum, the investment metal, dense, hard, and really cool. But that's just my take on it. But it is somewhat of a risky proposition. So keep that in mind too. Um, I'm not a financial advisor, but I have put some of my uh, money into platinum, as you can see here. I still love gold. No question about it. Gold is an amazing metal. and it will, Nothing will ever beat gold in terms of its, uh, um, what it has done for thousands of years. That has not changed. But having a little platinum in your stack, I think, is a pretty wise decision, even if it's just a little bit here and there. So let me know what your thoughts are about platinum in this day. I believe it will come. I don't know when. I don't know how it's going to come about, although we have some pretty good ideas based off what I said in this video. But I'm a big fan. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments section below. And for the first time in a long time, I'm not going to tell you, after I say a multitude of gratitude, because I will tell you that, a multitude of gratitude to you all for taking the time to watch, but I'm not going to tell you to please rate. I'm not going to even say that you should share this video. And I'm not going to tell you to comment either, but if you want to, it'd be nice. Hey, I would love to see what you have to say in the comment. I'm not going to command it at this point in time. And I'm not going to tell you to subscribe because probably most of you that are watching, no, actually most of you that are watching this video are not subscribers anyway. So I'm not going to do any of those things. I just hope you enjoyed the video.